Hey everybody, it's a little bit of a special occasion. It's uh, Saturday afternoon in uh, I was the first weekend in November. And it's a historic moment because we are putting the first piece of machinery into the shop. So totally excited. Um, if you remember, I bought the Abana horizontal and vertical milling machine from my buddy Matt with a bunch of tooling and whatnot. Well, he's bringing that up today and also he picked up my metal shear that I showed you guys eh, what about a month ago that I scored off eBay. The reason why I picked it up is a good price and also because he uh, was close to it. That's why I got it. That way he could grab it for me and I didn't have to make a road trip down there. So let me show you what we got going on. Let's climb up the hill real quick. With this Hero 7, this should be smooth. It shouldn't be jumpy like if I was using my Hero 4. So, got the forklift in. Just waiting on them. I don't know, there's not much light in here now, but you know, I got the front door on, tracks and stuff. They still got a nip and then I put the spring and all the little small stuff. And they're waiting to do that because if they put this door up <laughs> you know it's uh, totally sealed up and dark so they didn't get the track and stuff on this one but didn't have much problem it's been dry all week it's been beautiful weather so forklift only rutted a little bit i brought the jeep down here and you know, ran up and down and tried to compact that gravel the best i could that was compacted a lot better than this as you can see she rode it out, but uh, I kept my momentum and got her in there, so good to go. He is going to be getting here late, about when the uh, sun's going down and getting dark because of daylight savings time. So I'm not going to film any of that because he's got to, uh, you know, turn around and drive another three hours back home. But uh, I'll bring you back uh, tomorrow and uh, show you, you know, the new piece of machinery in the shop. It's going to be exciting. We're getting there, guys, finally. Well, hey, everybody. It is the next day. We got everything moved in last night. Uh, we had to do it in the dark. Matt didn't get up here until about 6.30. And, of course, with daylight savings time, it was already pitch dark. But we uh, got everything off the trailer. No issues. So that worked out great. Take you inside. Hopefully the lighting will be pretty good. Uh, the old forklift did just fine. You know, we rebuilt the mast, so I wasn't worried about that, but just wasn't sure. You know, I haven't lifted anything real heavy with it. So uh, she did fine. No hoses broke, no issues. You can tell she's a little bit tired, but she did her job. So there are the two pieces of equipment. First two in the shop. Let me uh, grab some light, because I'm not sure this is looking very good on the video. Hold on. Okay, here's some light. Try to do this one-handed. So, an Abana horizontal and vertical milling machine. This baby was built in 1966. This is basically the second version. They made three versions of it. Um, first version did not have power to the knee and they had um, levers here to change for your uh, spindle speed change. This is the second version where it has power feed on all three axes. And of course they changed that to a dial. And the latest version, um, they changed the dial, it had levers off of it. And they did a little bit of reconfiguration with the head. So what's nice about this head is it stays on. It's not like a K and T where you've got to you know take it off. Put it back on depending on what you want if you want horizontal or you know vertical so this is nice it stays on it rotates and you've got an index here so she'll be indexed at uh, obviously 90 degrees and then and there's an index back there you can see it so when you do horizontal she's at zero so you don't have to worry about trying to take out the uh, indicator and make sure she's right because she's perfect and of course you can turn it you know, anywhere between zero and uh, 90 degrees. You got your scale here. So makes that nice and convenient. 
the neat feature about this thing is, so you see it has a, a sliding way. You slide her down. This goes in here, she locks in there, and then you're doing horizontal. Pull her all the way up, turn the head down, and now you're doing vertical. So extremely versatile, and came with a Kurt Weiss. Let me see what the table is, see if I can do this one-handed for you guys. Um, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this or not. So table is uh, about 47 inches long and 10 inches wide. It's got uh, two motors. So you've got a motor that drives the spindle, which is back here by a belt. That's like a six horsepower, roughly. And then you've got a motor back here, which drives all your power feeds. And that is a about a two horsepower. And this dial here is how you increase or decrease your table speeds. So made in Sweden, the company is still in business, so you can get parts, but they don't make this particular model anymore. They uh, ceased production in 196, uh, excuse me, 1986. And I can't remember when they first started making them, maybe in the 40s. So oh, what also came with it, <laughs> which made the deal even sweeter. I appreciate it, Matt. 15 inch rotary table, couple arbors, got a whole bunch of cutters. Uh, this is a 40 taper machine, extra cutters in there. Nice big boring head, sweet. And some Chinesium, carbide brazed on, boring tips. So, tickled, he hooked me up, I appreciate that. And, as you guys know, I showed this on a mail call, the latest one. I picked up this Pexto Shear. This is a model uh, 137-1. It'll handle 16 gauge, which is what I was looking for. And, let's see, where'd I put the tape? I was hoping for a wider one, but I think this is just a 36 inch cut, if I remember right. Yep, so 36 inch sheet. Inside the box are two new blades, which is cool. This front part here and this back part here obviously aren't original. So the previous owner looks like what best I can surmise is they hooked it up for probably had some sort of roll of sheet metal I'm assuming you know come up off of here you know, here's your roll or it come through you know they would pull it to whatever length they want and boop, you know cut it off so I can take this part off obviously in the back but the back is nice if I just you know use it from the front they also converted it so it is pneumatic so I'm not stomping I'm just pressing the foot pedal so oh, that's pretty cool. So first two machines in the shop. I'm excited. Start moving more stuff in once they get the door up. But uh, hey, we're making progress. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys subscribing, you know, and following along. Hopefully soon uh, we'll be moving a lot more stuff in. You know, farther time is breathing down our back, but hopefully we can... Uh, get going before it starts snowing. <laughs> That's probably right around the corner where the weather goes in the mountains. So we'll catch you guys later.